Hi guys, it's Lita. So I have a thrift haul for you guys, but I wanted to do a quick intro before that because I went to an antique mall and I didn't do an intro for that. So we're over the road and we stopped to do our reset and there was a thrift, an antique mall, a big, huge antique mall, you'll see. That was an eight minute walk, but Robert drove me there because it was a billion degrees outside which is super nice so and he waited in the southern lands parking lot while i walked around this huge antique mall it's really big i'm so glad that that they had air conditioning in it because it would have been miserable if they didn't the second floor was pretty hot even though they had ac so yeah i just wanted to do a quick intro for the footage that you were about to see there is going to be a haul at the end, so make sure you stay tuned and wait till the end of the video, and I'll show you all the items that I got. Some of them are from a Goodwill that we went to before I went to this antique mall in our other reset, and then the other items are from the antique mall, and I'll tell you which ones are which when I go through the haul at the end of the video. You guys wanna stick around because I got some really good stuff. So, hope you guys enjoy walking around this antique mall with me. Hopefully you guys have seen the first floor. There's so much, so much stuff here. Crazy amounts of stuff here. Um, they have something that I thought I was gonna find here and I did find here, but now I'm like, how am I supposed to get that home? It's massive and I don't know how much it is. So I'm gonna have to ask how much it is and if it's a good price, I don't know. It's really big. It will be hard to keep it in the truck, but there is so much stuff here. I'm on the second floor, so I'm gonna keep going and showing you guys the some of the good stuff that they have here. That 
I don't even know. <laughs> that is crazy that this exists. Look at that. It's a deodorant holder. Put your deodorant in it. Um, I would, I would not mind the Kraken one. It's actually pretty dope. This place is crazy. I don't care if it's like Dollar Tree skeletons. That's adorable. Okay, so I will do the Goodwill items that I got first, and then I will do the antique mall items. So I didn't get too much from this Goodwill. They did have a good amount of Halloween stuff out. They had their own Halloween section, which is always nice. My Goodwill doesn't do that anymore. Everything's kind of like slopped together. So it's nice when they have seasonal aisles in a Goodwill. So I found some hand towels. I found this spider one. It's like a patch embroidered deal, but just a cute spider on an orange towel. This is a, it was a Kohl's towel. It was originally from Kohl's, so. And these towels were 99 cents, but I got them half off because they were the color. So the next one is, this is, I think this is my favorite out of the ones I found. This super cute owl towel, just a spooky owl on the moon. And then this is the last towel that I found at that Goodwill. It is a witch on a broomstick with a moon behind her and it says, happy Halloween. Next thing I found was this scarf. I just saw spider webs. But when I was at the register, I realized that this is a Disneyland scarf. So the Mickey Mouse heads are all made out of spider webs, which is pretty cool. This like has the tag still on it. So yeah, this was probably never used. Got immediately donated. Cute. And then I found some shirts from Goodwill. I just go through the shirts when I have time to go through them. So I found this cute, it's just like a dressier black shirt. Then I found this Mac shirt, which is pretty cool. And then I found this skull shirt and the skull is made up of little skulls. I don't know what happened to this in the dryer or if the dog started eating it, but it didn't look like that before. So I think she started eating this shirt, but that's okay because this is a work shirt, so I don't care that it's like messed up. And then the last shirt I got is this. Uh, this was a pretty new shirt, but I wore it working and I kind of got some dirt on the roses. So it's not new new, but I like it. I think it's cute. Obviously it's from Schitt's Creek, but it's cool that it says Rose Apothecary. I just think it's a good shirt. And that's everything that I got from that Goodwill. So I will show you guys what I got from the antique mall. So I 
found this little teeny pumpkin. It's a gunned pumpkin. So I don't know how many people know about gunned, but they're a pretty big plush manufacturer and they're kind of expensive. So I paid $275 for this. Uh, he does light up and make noise if you squeeze him right. But only one of his eyeballs works. That's okay, I bought it because it was a gun and it was a jack o' lantern, so. So the next thing I found is, like, this is a Spectra's uh, dance floor or club. It's a Monster High item and I got it because I think I'm going to use it for skincare or makeup or like some place to store my brush canisters and have it hung up. So that's kind of why I got it, but I also got it because it's like $2 and it's Monster High. So it opens like this and that's the dance floor. As you can see, it's the shape of a skull, the Monster High skull. It's missing some pieces. There is this divot right here and it's supposed to have the Monster High pink bow on it. That's okay, I'm not mad it's not there. I think there's supposed to be other stuff stuck to it also, but I think it's just cute because it has this like handle. So you could take it places if you needed to. And it's got like a nice latch on it. And these eyes pop out, I'm not sure. I don't know, I, ne I never had any Monster High stuff so I don't really know how this exactly is supposed to set up as a dance club. But the crazy thing about this is it has an aux cord. So there's supposed to be speakers in here that you can play songs out of and it'll come out of this playset, which is pretty crazy. So yeah, I think I'm going to figure out how I'm gonna do like my cosmetics and stuff like that. and incorporate this in there somehow but I just think it's cute. So the next thing that I found is this canister. This is a old Chupa Chups lollipop canister. I think the design on it is really cool. It's a little scratched but that's okay. The haunted house scene is amazing. The graveyard and all that. It's just got one little scratch on the ghost. But, I mean, what are you gonna do? Actually, I don't know if that's a scratch. I might just have to clean that off. Oh, there's a scratch right there. There's one right there. That's a for sure scratch. But the reason I got it, or bought it, was, I don't remember how much this is. Okay, so this was $3, but, like, right there. On the bottom, it says Salvador Ali is the one that designed the Chupa Chups logo, which I didn't know, but like then, like when I found that out from reading this, I was like, well, I have to get it now because I went to his museum and everything, so. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it's a super cool canister. So I bought it. And then the last thing that I found was, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I found one of these. It is a huge pumpkin blow mold. He's a little faded, but that's okay. This is originally a Kmart blow mold. I'm not sure what year it came out, but it was $9.99. I got this for $20 which is still a steal for the size of this guy. He is very big. The lady at the register wanted the booth owner to charge me more for that because they're worth more. But the thing is, they shouldn't have left that $10 price tag on it because you can't be like, I'm gonna charge you $40 for something that has a $10 price tag on it. I don't care if it's not your price, you left that price tag on it. That's your bad. But the booth owner was super reasonable, charged me $20 for it. So I took it home for $20 and it rode with us for the two weeks that we were still on the road uh, in the semi because I, I don't know, like I feel like shipping for these are really expensive. They're really expensive anyways. So I grabbed it 
from the antique mall. So that is my thrift haul. Comment down below your favorite item that I got in this thrift haul. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on other social media. My links will be posted in the description box down below. Hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.